This is the Nozomi Super Express, bound for Shin Osaka. I literally bought a mic just for this crunch. So can I have, so what's this? Uh, it's strawberry and grape with sugar on it. We're in front of this Padoga. What's Pagoda. this called? You keep saying Padoga. Padoga. Pagoda. Yes, so can, I, yes, can, I, can I have a crunch? Yeah, because I already had the strawberry, which is really yeah. good. Okay. Wait, wait, <laughs> I was going <laughs> to eat the mic. Mmm. Okay, then have the strawberry, because I had a strawberry, then I'm going to have the oh grape. Oh my god, the grape so good. So good, right? Okay, try the strawberry. I don't know how you're going to get it. Because I already had a strawberry, so I haven't yep. had a grape, though. <laughs> how did you do it? Wait. Okay. Mmm. So good. I think I prefer the strawberry, though. I prefer the grape. <laughs> Please try to eat in or around the stop. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's like mochi. Oh, is it? Mm. I'm not sure. I wouldn't get a gum. <laughs> you can have this. So guys, there's a candy apple store and I love candy apples. One thing about me is whenever I see a candy apple, I need to have one. Oh, and this fish is true, look, true. This That's fish so is, <laughs> that is so random. Everything's so tempting. It is, and it says, it's the most delicious apple in the world. <laughs> it's the top luxury brand in Japan. <laughs> look at that red one. It looks like um, the apple that, is it Cinderella? No, not Cinderella. Snow White. Snow White, thank you. That's Snow White eight. So right now we're just walking along the street and literally just going in. Getting whatever food that we see. Yeah. But I think we need to make savory now. Yeah. We're, like we're just going where the queues are, basically. Yeah. It's not as busy as I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought it would be busier, to be fair. I think it's because it rained, maybe. No, but it's really sunny and nice now. Oh my God, there's so many amazing, like, people dressed up. Yeah. Wow. I love it. That looks so good. So good. Okay, Tree, you go. I feel like it's going to be really hot. Yeah, just take a bite. Oh. Not the whole thing true. It's really hot. I told you to have a little bite. Oh. Good? It's so savoury, I love it. Umami. Mm, I can see the octopus inside. Can you see the octopus? Okay guys, it's my turn to try. Mm. Is it good? It's so soft and like creamy inside. Yeah, wait until you get to the squid. Not squid, it's octopus. It's really hot though. Yeah. Nuri, what do you have there? Can they have scallop skewers. Scallops. Yeah. And we're going to get the cheese croquette. Sushi as well. Might as well. We have scallop with butter and soy sauce. Mm. And then says Kyoto. Kyoto. <laughs> Is it wagyu? No, it's not wagyu. It's just beef sushi. Beef sushi. Or like a cracker. Which you can eat. The rice is stuck to the cracker. Oh, no. Can you feed that to me? Thank you. Mm -hmm. The scallops are. The scallops are good. I'm sorry. These. Phenomenal.
Rizal at the moment. <laughs> hmm? I'm trying to radiate you. They recommend reserving a table before you order. Guys, Starbucks was way too busy. We're resorting to the vending machine. Which not not cool. a resort, it's actually something that I want to Yeah, also, this, try. Is, this was on the bucket list anyway. This is the bucket list. There we go. First vending machine drink. Do you Number want to do a taste test? in Japan. It's just unsweetened green tea. embarrassing. <laughs> um, let's cut that. Let's cut, 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 that. cut the cameras. <laughs> Sandwich. We had the, uh, we had sandwich. the sandwich, this fruit sandwich, which I've always seen when people go to Japan. I always wanted to try. Um, just tastes like fruit in a sandwich. It is nice. I really like it's it. It's like though. a nice light. I, I think dessert. it's a very Asian thing to have dessert that's not too sweet. Too sweet, yeah. Um, so I really like that. But you prefer sweeter stuff. I prefer sweet. But that, I did like that. But yeah, it is like a really light kind of sweet sandwich. True had his first matcha. Um, yep. And now we're Delicious. heading off to a vintage store that's on the way to our hotel. Where we're staying is actually a really good spot, it's quite central. Um, so we're going to go to a vintage shop and then go back to the hotel, freshen up, and then we want to get some katsu for dinner. So that is the plan. Well, guys, octopus six. Who's going to get one? Mm. I got them. I don't know if it's <laughs> Is it good? It's got noodles. Oh, that's so cool. Inside it. You'll get fat. Yeah. Trust okay, me. That's, what, that's my way. <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal. Great right out of 10. It's actually really good. Really? I can't explain it. Give it 8 out of 10. Oh. Huge crab sticks. Oh, it's imitation crab. That looks very good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, oh, salt and pepper, chili pepper. Thank you. Thank you. This is the crab. You know, it's crab sticks. Yeah. You can share with me because that's too much for me. 3,000 for two. Um, I got two. I'm so hungry. <laughs> this is making me hungry. Arigato. <laughs> Are you gonna put the whole thing in your mouth? Are you gonna, I think you just drop six. Yeah, let me show you guys. They're so big. I think they put some sort of um, sauce on there. I don't know what. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it might be a little bit overwhelming. Oh, really? For me? See, True knows me so well, that's why. <laughs> but it's really fresh. Really? It's not very seafoody at all. We're, we're supposed to go vintage shopping, but yeah. we end up in this like food market and we're just eating more food because we're starving, guys. We only had little bits at the um, the street we were at. We only had like tiny little bits here and there. So this is our like lunch, dinner, breakfast, lunch, yeah. dinner all combined. <laughs> This place is called Teramachi. It's so cool, guys. There's a mixture of food, vintage stores, like really cute accessory stores, basically everything.
So guys, we came to Hikone Castle in hopes of seeing some blossoms because apparently this was one of the like last places to bloom. Late yeah, bloomer. Late bloomer, but we're too late. Um, I think we're like we're seeing remnants of blossom trees where there's like bits of blossoms. Yeah, because I think trees. I reckon 48 hours ago there was. Yeah. And then there was like really windy conditions and rainy. When we came the first night. Yeah. So then that probably blew off all of the blossoms. Yeah. I can imagine how beautiful it is because a lot of the trees hang into the lake. And imagine with like the full blossoms how it would look because it already looks beautiful without the full blossom but i'm just imagining with the blossoms true's just getting his hd bird i'm, I'm, I'm on the bird watch because there are there some are so many can, birds here can, can you hear, hear them like, yeah they sound really aggressive they sound very aggressive like scarily aggressive and they're massive so true's just in his um bird watch era which is all of his life really it's not just an error for you actually it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. We came to 7 Eleven because we're starving right now, and this is what we came here for. This is so good. Should we get two each? The tuna mayonnaise with soy sauce. This is so delicious. Oh, oh no, actually, the egg sandwich. We should try that. So guys, we have come back to the room now to have a little break. We've already done over 10,000 steps and we're only halfway through the day. Yesterday we did 16,000 steps, but we did have a late start today. So, little tip, bring only trainers. I mean, I did bring some nice shoes because when I'm shooting content, I'm gonna like change them over. And like yesterday when we shot some pictures, I had um, my Gucci heels on, but I literally was wearing trainers the whole day and just put the heels on for the picture. Another thing that I've learned is that the train system works really well and I feel like it's quite understandable based on their signing. I feel like they explain things quite well and if you go to the ticket office, you can ask questions, but I feel like you can figure it out pretty quickly. Like we've already figured out how to use the trains, um, but it does help having internet, That's which is why we bought our SIM cards at the airport, which gives us unlimited data so that we have access to internet when we're out and about. Oh, another thing. So we had 7-Eleven for lunch because a lot of the restaurants close. So they're open for breakfast and they close around 2 or 3 p.m. and then they reopen at 5 p.m. So there's like a gap in between where a lot of restaurants are closed. And we wanted lunch at around two o'clock after we were done at Hikoni Castle and most of the restaurants were closed. So we just got lunch at 7-Eleven. Um, but saying that, 7-Eleven food is so good and I, I heard it before like other people say how the convenience stores in Japan have like really good food and the quality of their food is really good. The egg sandwich that I had was the best egg, egg milk sandwich I've had in my life. It was so so nice, so fresh. The um, tuna sushi rice that I got as well, so good. Honestly 7-Eleven is going to be your best friend on this trip, especially I feel like if you're trying to see a lot in the day, a lot of the time most restaurants have long queues, it's hard to get reservations. So if you're here just to kind of explore and see things, it might be the case that for like lunch you have 7-Eleven and then maybe for breakfast and dinner you can book restaurants and try and have various meals. We're gonna go vintage shopping now, which True has been wanting to do. I feel like vintage shopping here is gonna be really good for True because they have a lot of really cool like menswear stuff. And then in Tokyo is, I think, where I'm going to do the shopping. Well, both of us will. But I think here in Kyoto, we've seen a lot of vintage stores and look like they do really cool pieces. So that is the plan. And that was a little update. I've got on my pretty lavish jumper because actually today was really warm. But the temperature does drop in the evening. Like last night was freezing. So I've got my jumper on. I've got my jaded London cargoes. Just want to be really comfy. Would recommend bringing like really comfy pants because you would just would be walking a lot. Also depending on the season. Um, I feel like these are a good pair of pants for spring because they're lightweight so it's not too hot but then it's like the perfect kind of pants to wear. These New Balances are the only trainers I've been wearing this trip because they are my comfiest trainers. They're the 530s. So, so comfy. And then I've got this H&M leather bomber jacket you guys have seen before. And that is my outfit of the day to go vintage shopping.
This is so cute, eh? bows are really in right now. This is a bit too work wear. I don't think I'd wear that. True, it's, this is ladies. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I have a bit of an obsession um, with Pedro Pascal after watching The Last of Us, and this is giving Pedro vibes. Should I try that one for you? I think True needs to get one. <laughs> well, someone did comment on our, one of our vlogs that you look like Pedro Pascal on the branch, but look, they've got more sweatshirts. You said that at the same time. This is very streetwear. That's like fisherman vibe. It's a very cool vibe now. But I do need that because... What, this? No, like, I, need, I do need like a, a lot jacket. of pockets. Because I do have a lot of things. Oh, these are long sleeve t-shirts. Oh, that's quite nice. Did you wear red? That's like rugby vibe. Yeah, I like that. Mm. With the white collar, it's quite cute. <laughs> so this is the red one. What do you think? I, I think red like... suits you. Does but you look very schoolboy. It needs to be more oversized, you think? I think it's the white it collar. It looks very small, smart. Yeah. Let me put this uh, fish It looks nice. The red looks nice. I don't know what you're dressing me to be, <laughs> but I'm going to put this... We're just in. trying new things. Oh, it's quite small, but I, I could I could use for the pocket stuff. But I, I, I would never wear this out. These are all Ralph Lauren jackets. And you you like these kind of jackets, like the yeah, ones you have on now. Like you... smart casual. Yeah, that's a nice one, the baby blue. Yeah. Maybe you can try that on. You can try that on. Also, this is nice. Let me try the red one. This Ooh. colour. That's really nice. I like that the colour. Neck as well. Yeah, that's a cool neck. Okay. And do you want to try the red? I, okay. I feel like I really want to see true in red. I'll try it in red. Give me Ferrari white. Oh yeah, is that Ferrari red? Let's see how much this is. 13. So 14k. Got the mic, guys. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit cropped. Roll up the sleeve, gives it a more casual vibe. I think it's because you've got a long t shirt. It doesn't look cropped to me. It looks like a normal. Mm. That's a nice color. Okay, so the next one, khaki. I like this color. Oh, I like this one a lot. This one is also very this nice. This is really nice. And it's I a like different, different vibe. I prefer that over the blue. Yeah. Oh, I, I like don't know, this, actually. actually. I feel like you're going to wear this more than the blue one. I feel like the back detail here yeah. is more smart. Okay, add this to the basket. Okay, so I'm going to try on the red one just for Luri um, because she really wants to see me in red. Red and yellow is giving McDonald's right now <laughs> with your yellow. Red and yellow top. McDonald's. Oh, that's a different material, isn't it? It's a bit more like yes. windbreakery. Yeah. Ooh. That's cool though. This is more cool, boy. Less understated. It looks pink on the camera. Wait, come closer because it's a really nice red. Yeah, it's a nice red. It looks very pink, but in real life, it's a red. Yeah. That's nice, mm -hmm. but I don't think you're going to wear it. Oh. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. Okay, we're going okay. for the khaki. So we're going for this khaki one. Thank, Thank you. you. Got the goods. Guys, there's a wedding dress shop. Should I take True in there and try and get some dresses? I think they're closed. True is very anti seeing me in a wedding dress. Like, yeah, I don't want to see he it. He doesn't let me show him anything. So guys, we are now going to dinner. True found a ramen place. So we thought we'd go for an early dinner because yesterday we struggled to find anywhere that was open or yeah. like that wasn't closed. A lot of the lines closed at around eight o'clock. So yeah, we're on our way to dinner now. It is 5.30. Yeah, because what, what happened the last two days was that we go out, explore, yeah. get tired, go home, have a rest and then go out for dinner around eight. And then that's when everything closes yeah. or the lines like are sold out. Um, so, so far we actually haven't had a proper dinner meal. Yeah, we've just been having like bits, snacks, like um, you saw yesterday. Yeah, we street just had food. Street food, yeah. Yeah, so tonight, hopefully, we have our first ramen a of the trip. Meal. I'm looking forward to it.
therapy. Win window shopping therapy. Look, Helen Kitty's song. Keep getting distracted at every cute store. Everything is so cute here. I think you're not a fan of um, citrus desserts. No, but this is it's not citrusy, it's like sweet. Oh. It's sweet orange. Mm. It would be nice if it was a sour orange, do you know what I We're wearing the pyjamas that the hotel gave us and we're about to try the strawberries. They look so good. Also, we bought the first ones that we came across but then afterwards we saw there was like a big section of strawberries. So I'm not sure if these are the best ones. Oh, they smell so good. Yeah, in the process of washing it, like some of the skin fell off. Oh wow. That's how delicate they are. I don't know how I feel about them. It tastes like mushy strawberries. I'm gonna be real. I prefer the waitress ones. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we didn't get the right ones. These were expensive though, they were 10 pounds. But it's not giving but me I what- I think it's very much an Asian taste palette that is not too sweet. Do you know what? They are very soft. Like I feel like the strawberries in England are very- the strawberries in England are very crunchy. Yeah. But these are like soft. Yeah, that's soft and not too sweet. I feel like we need to try another brand. There was this one brand that all the Japanese people were buying. Maybe that one, because no one was buying this, only us. Yeah. I feel like this was like the tourist strawberries. Tourist trap. The tourist trap. Because then when we went, well, well, when we walked further into the supermarket, there were so many strawberries that you could just smell strawberries and that's what everyone else was getting. So I think we should get those. Yeah, we'll try that tomorrow or another day. These are nice, but I don't think they're worth ten pounds. Yeah, basically it's like two pounds per strawberry. Hopefully this is nice. We saw the man making it. Yep. It's like a pancake. Like um. It's like a pancake thing. <sighs> Butter. With True's favorite. Red bean. Oh, I think she's bite it, True. I need to show the inside. Mm. Beautiful. These do come warm, but they are cooled down now. Mmm. 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 It's like um waffly. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. I love red bean desserts. This is very nice. So guys, we are on our way now to have a traditional Japanese breakfast, which we are so looking forward to. We got our hotel concierge to book it for us because I think when you're here, it's easier to book things because a lot of things are in Japanese or require you to call up. Yeah, so, so we would recommend doing better that. Better do it for a concierge.
So guys, the trick is, if you want a picture, you don't need to come here at six in the morning. You just basically, because there's two, two like red bridges. Yeah. So one is the way to go in, and then there's one to exit. And it's the exit that you want to get your picture at, because obviously everyone's exiting, so they're walking out. And you can just stop halfway through the tunnel and take your pictures. That's what yeah, we did. Yeah, because everyone's taking pictures at the entrances, but yeah. not in the middle bit. So, the so middle if bit you go to the middle bit, like, you get occasional people, but there's opportunities to take Like it pictures. looks really empty, yeah, so really we empty, actually got yeah. some pictures. Yeah. A little life hack for you guys. These are chilling in the shadow because of the heat. How much was that? Uh, 200. Look, it's coming. Look. 200. <laughs> Look how it's just coming towards you. I'm staying away because I'm a bit scared. Oh, look. Guys, it's bowing his head. <gasps> Another one's coming. They all just come. No, I don't have anything true. Thinks I have food. True. Come here now and save me. <laughs> I don't. Why is it following me? True. I can't. I haven't got food. I'm thinking they're so clever. They don't attack like the food vendors. Yeah. They just know. Like they're working with they're the. Gonna, they just know they're not going to get any food. Guys, we're just. I'm just hiding the, the goods in here. So basically, when you don't have food, you have to do this. Yeah. And that means you don't, they, they'll leave you alone. They'll stop attacking you. Look. Show your hands. No, he's not coming towards us. He is. Look, I don't have pants. He stopped. Oh my god, he actually stopped doing this. I wish I knew that earlier because one was just following me. <laughs> yeah. I think they're so cute, but then when they come close to me, I get a bit scared. Oh. We're trying to find like an isolated Pretty one. Oh, no, um, so then we don't get like ganged up <laughs> because it literally goes in like five seconds. Yeah, we've got biscuits. So we've just got back to the hotel now. I think my best day ever this year. I had so much fun at the deer park. Absolutely loved it, it was so beautiful. The weather was amazing, it's so warm today. I've just come back, did an outfit change. I'm wearing this Cos uh, strapless dress and I've got this jacket on because in the evenings it does get a bit cooler. We're gonna have a little walk, go to a tea house, get some tea and Japanese sweets and then come back and get ready for dinner. So that is the plan right now.
How is it, true? <laughs> the ginger latte I'd recommend. Yeah. Really nice. It's like sweet. You can't really taste the ginger, but it's very tasty. Right, guys. This is when we need our mics. Yeah, this is when we need our mic, but. We're doing it at our home today. The shop's empty, so we're doing OOTD. Okay, so this top is from Orsi and Orsi and Iris. I had to get it from New York and get it shipped, so I had to pay customs. And my jeans are from Ray. Mimi bag. I did have some I can't remember the brand, but I'll make them. And they're still in some glasses. We have some time to kill before our lunch reservation. This is the map. So, yeah, 500 yen per person. There's a lake and then some blossom trees, hopefully, are still intact. We'll see. Because there's this one which you can see has fully bloomed. Considering that peak blossom season has basically happened, um, we've actually found quite a few blossom trees that are really beautiful and Actually, this morning we shot a campaign. We got up earlier. I woke up at 6.30 in the morning, which is the earliest I've gotten up here. Um, so we could go to this spot that we found yesterday at around 8 a.m. And even then it was still busy and everyone was stopping by to take pictures of this one blossom tree. Uh, we managed to film the campaign. I'm really excited actually, because basically the plan was to film this campaign in Japan. And then we got here and we saw that there were no more <laughs> I can't even speak. We got here and we realised that the blossoms had peaked so I was about to tell the brand that we couldn't basically film this campaign here because the campaign relies on flowers and it's about florals and I thought Japan would be perfect but then yesterday just by chance as we were walking we found a really gorgeous blossom tree um, and it was perfect for the campaign so we filmed it this morning got some pictures and I'm very happy about that and now we are in this really beautiful garden hunting for more blossoms but if i don't see any uh, why can't i speak if we don't see any blossoms i'm still going to be happy because the garden is just beautiful and the trees are stunning in themselves Is it seeds? It's got like lemon flavor or something. It's pickled. Oh, let me try. No, it's salted. What do you think? So the lady said it was very spicy and true was down and said give a little bit of sauce. That is, that is That's a tiny amount. bit of sauce. Well, just try it and then see if you can handle it. It's like a sweet chili, but then it is very spicy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's like not meat, it's like real spice. It's good though. It's crunchy. Mm. Tuesday. 
brush was gone. 